Hello friends. In this video I'm going to show you how to use this thing here. This feature here. As you can see we have a conversation. In this conversation there are many messages. John has sent us a message here with a whole bunch of attachments. That's great. I've downloaded them. Then he sent us another message with a whole bunch of other attachments. And to top it off he sent us another message with a whole bunch of other attachments, many of which he's already sent before. I need to know which ones I've already downloaded and which ones I need to download again. I only need to download the stuff that's new. How can I do this? That's easy. I go to my folder. Here are all the attachments John has previously sent. I can drag these and drag it on the current message here. You see, you can see it's flickering. Drop the files. So we drop the files, and this will tell us all the things that we need to download. So we've, we don't need to download this because we already have it here. Similarly, it cross checks everything. Oops, we need to download this one because we don't have it. And this one, and this one, and this one. So we must have many, many files here by dragging and dropping. We only need to download a few and we can click this and we download the few files that we need to download and we can save it in our folder. As you can see here we've downloaded them and saved them. As for the second feature, the scene before, this will tell us if John or anyone else has sent us this attachment before in a previous message. So if you click here we can see oh we've got this here and we've got this one here before. Similarly most of them John has sent us the same thing multiple times. In this particular one, he sent it only once, which means he sent it in a previous message but not in another message. So it can be very tricky to manage. But if you use this feature cleverly, you will only need to download the stuff you need to download. Thank you for watching.